Hello everyone, this is Destro, and I'm back with Dishonored. Um, when last we left off, we had just finished capturing Anton Sokolov over here, who has, uh, <laughs> gonna love the subtitles on that. Um, anyways, I did want to have a quick look around before I got on with the next mission, so, first thing is, we do have a bone charm to go get. Alright. Let's go find out where that is. Oh, it's out there somewhere. <laughs> yes, tragic loss. Hmm. Clearly. What do you have to say, Cecilia? Corvo? Can I tell you something? Um, I have okay. a secret retreat nearby hey. that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. Oh, we get the key to the apartment. An apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Anything yes, else? Mr. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. So much dust. It must blow down from the upper city. They let that Emily run wild. It's not how I do it, if you don't mind my saying. <laughs> All right. Well, she has told us one thing useful. Oh, hey, Lydia, you have anything to say? Nope. Just random singing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there we go. So I'm guessing the bone charm is in the apartment. That does seem to be the case, yes. Anyone who has consumed is that? Yep, loot! Must be reported to the water. Not very much loot. There's better loot up here. Uh, there we go. Loot! Loot, loot. Is there? Yep, there it is. Ah! Come on. Okay, well, that works. <sighs> Knew there was something up there. Uh, loot. Loot, 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 loot. Anywhere other? More loot in here? Anywhere? Uh, nothing back here, I don't think. There, ah, there it is. Okay, sustained rage. I don't think that's especially useful for me. Uh, no. No, it is not. No loot in there. Uh, oh! Take that rewire tool. Let's see, let's see. Ooh! Nearly missed that. Piero! Uh, oh! Hang on, Piero. I'm normally have to loot everything that's not labeled down first. But today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Good. Ah, yes, that is what I want. Uh, how much money do I... Oh, I have lots of money. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Yes, I do want boot stealth. I want all the boot stealth. Uh, I don't think I need any of these. Uh, I'll get that one just in case. Um... And I'll take bolt capacity just for the hell of it. What else do we have in here, Piero? Do we have anything else I can loot? I think I've read that book under there. Uh, no, read all these, read all these. Oh, audiographs! Yay! More audiographs, okay. And here we see that Piero doesn't especially think 
highly of Anton over there. Okay. I wonder if Callista has a new one for us. Ah, Emily is asleep. As quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily. I'm here. She eh. seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do out there in the city. Very important. Very important things. Oh, look. She did a drawing of the Empress. Please. Please leave a candle for me. I it gets dark in here and I I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? What's she doing with Tivy and Orr? Oh. She does not appear to be sleeping especially well. What else? There's hardly a need to work with Connecticut. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. <laughs> then suddenly she changes and she's old manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rag. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Well, she's Empress now, or no. well, will be soon Corvo. enough. Corvo. And apparently having bad dreams, so let's leave her to those. Um, I suppose I can go see if uh, the Admiral and Pendleton have put anything new on their audiographs. Oh, how do you do, sir? I apologize for my state. I could use a long soak in the bath. So relaxing. What a treat that would be, hmm? I reiterate, Lydia wants in Corvo's pants. Uh, oh. Yoink! Yoink! Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 41. In which I bed two of the Boyle women, and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. <laughs> It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door, with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three Boyle women soon took notice and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. I forget which one Lydia is. I think she's the one who likes music. Oh, Pendleton. Oh, hey. Uh, w hello. Uh... Oh, good. This is the, um, the Pendleton votes. Yes, well, we're going to be taking care of that soon enough. Lady Don't mind me. Was abducted some six months past. We're getting closer to reaching her, her mother's terrible murder. Our position is becoming Anyone more dangerous. You know how is it to have to leave her without leaving telltale traces? Riverboats pass day and night. At once. The looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude. If our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Well then. Havelock is up to things. It seems. Oh! And I am easily distracted by shiny objects. Anyways, I think that's everything. Um, not gonna bother talking to uh, Pendleton and 
Martin and Havelock and all them right now. Oh. Lydia, were you in my room? You're a bold one, Master Corvo. Snatching the royal physician. Don't try to deny it. I know you were up here. And oh, hello. Oh, Pendleton sent me uh Yeah, we uh we did manage to get rid of them without killing them, so Pendleton sent us money. Nice of him. Especially since I think I'm going to need some money. Corvo, wake up. Oh, hey. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. Emily came to visit. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. That's the best plan. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Yep. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Okay, so now we have to go talk to Anton Sokolov. But I need to talk to Piero first. Uh, hello again, Lydia. Well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Yeah, I'm sure he's um, used to having whatever he wants, so... Oh, hey, Martin got made High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. Oh, hi, Piero. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of Sure lock. you were. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. I like how the subtitles the ruin his um, no lie before he even lock. gets to it. Just, you know, looking through the lock. Yeah, look. Come on, Piero. Bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me <laughs> at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Piero is afraid of me. I'm sure everyone is afraid of me, really. But hey, Piero, before you, you go, my unique services. We can quickly return to my shop. I do actually need something from... Ah, yeah, okay, so... I did have enough money to afford it even without Pendleton's reward, but I do need that. Hilariously, you can go in there. Um, and Callista will be quite upset with you. And it results in a non-standard game over if you jump in the bath with her. I know this for reasons. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious uh, okay, what else and is there? And will be punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property... Um, and well, Sokolov is over there. And preserving the I wonder if Piero said anything new. I think the, uh, the audiograph players actually refresh every time the, um... area reloads, so we'll go and... Oh, yeah, see? The Admirals isn't here anymore. Pendleton's. Is his here? Uh, no, his is gone too. Okay. Cecilia, have you been hiding people's audiograph players? Or maybe it was Samuel again. Um... Piero, is yours still here? Yes, yours is still here. What will I say when Sokolov has passed at his funeral? Something like this, perhaps. Sokolov is dead. Gone forever. We were rivals at the Academy, yes. He was jealous of my actual brain <laughs> and physical energies. But he's dead now. And what can I say about him? Sokolov, he did improve on some inventions. He did well for himself in his way. He had many admirers among the aristocracy, especially those who lack a solid background in matters of natural philosophy. 
He was a painter of portraits. They say his work was genius. That remains to be seen. Time will tell. Hey, you know, I've seen some of those portraits. They're really damn good, Piero. Say what you like about Sokolov, but you cannot malign his work as an artist. Oh, hey, Pendleton, you're back. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again. See? See, everyone wants Sokolov to paint their portraits.